<laughs> that was well timed. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the late Monday stream, the Easter stream. I uh, hope you guys are having a good Easter holiday so far if you celebrate. <laughs> Wait, what? What was that for? Show cat picks magical. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 hold up. Uh, Frogosaurus, thank you for the 18 months. Okay, so the reason why we are doing a little bit later of a stream today is because uh, we, we went and visited our hopefully future cat just a moment ago. Uh, I, I can show you in it. Hold up. I posted, a, I posted a picture in the Discord. I can show you real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, we've only seen him for the second time, but, uh, we are probably going to get him soon. Uh, but, 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 where is it? Here. There he is. Name him Opa Binia. <laughs> he already has a name. He's eight years old. We are, uh, adopting one from the shelter. I don't know if I don't know if we want to rename him or not. I don't know how that works exactly. Uh his name is Sinatra. He already has a name, so I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. Omni, thank you for the 21. Alright, so that's that. That's the update. Sinatra is a pretty cool name. I think it's I think it's it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I, we haven't named them that. It's not what it's not what we chose, but it's not it's I don't know. That it, it feels kind of weird renaming someone who's been named that way for 8 years, right? Anyways, that's the update on that. We uh we've we've met him for the second time. Uh we like him. Uh it seems like he likes us as well. We have uh we have to set up some stuff and then see if we uh if we can get him, but uh it should be. It's looking good. So that's that's pretty hype. Uh, Blue Tux, think about the six months. Anyways, that's why the stream was a little late today, but uh, it's fine because we still have some some time. We're just gonna have a little bit longer stream. We're just not gonna end at we're not ending at five. We're we're doing a little bit longer, but uh, other than that, it's just gonna be the same as always. Um. So yeah. Uh, let's do the warm up real quick. Uh, then we have some announcements to make, including a new sponsor of the channel, which I think is pretty uh, hype. Uh, I hope I hope it's hype for you guys as well, because I hope it's something that you guys are going to find interesting. So we'll talk about all that, and then we will do some other uh, Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff today. Let's uh, let's do that. Let, we're, let's not skip the warm up. Let's see how we perform. Real Zephra G, thank you for the fifteen. Thank you, thank you. Happy Easter to you as well. All right. Let us begin. Hyper Artonus, thank you for the 16. Ooh, this feels familiar. Is this like, is this Clock Wyvern? I think it is Clock Wyvern. Yeah. Uh, Dark Scorpion Burglars. No, is it combination? No, okay, then I don't know. Mustering, is it? Ah, okay. Uh, that's a that's a salamangrate, salamangrate, but I think it's raccoon. Yeah, yep. Good morning, Zach. How are you doing? Ooh, this looks familiar as well. This is like cyber, cyber arch fiends. Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, I've seen this. This is a spell card. Yeah, like arcane 
barrier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the first one, I have no idea. Zexel catapult. Uh, this could be Cyber Dragon Nova. Or it's a red eyes. Is it red eyes? Yeah, okay, it's that. Uh, Miracle Egg? No. Uh, it's the egg that is... Insect imitation? Really? Oh. Uh, this is the, 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 the zombie thingy. Ah, uh, Yasha, yeah. No, no, that's Kasha, that's the one. Yeah, not Yasha. Grey Hunter, thank you for the four months, welcome back. Ooh, oh, this is old, I've seen it 100%. No. Is it some? I thought it was something phantom, but what is that? Phantom... Grass phantom. I thought it was phantom seed, but that's not a thing. Yeah. Uh, is that marine size wave? No. Then I don't know what it is. Black Sonic. Okay. Um, is that another? Is that a Blackwing? That's Borea Storm, isn't it? Uh, greater Inari fire? No. Just Inari fire? Oh, okay. Uh, swirl slime. This looks familiar. Yeah, Alexandrite. No, Alexander. Yeah. Oh, it's Spartacus. I knew it was a Gladbys. Oh, Alexander is the is the the lion one, right? The. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mixed them up. This, I believe, is um a weather painter. Snow. Yeah. Uh, doodle beast, right? Yeah. Light sworn stuff, but probably a, this is a trap card. Something judgment. Light of judgment. I'm skipping. That was my best guess. Lights more judgment. Uh, we were close. We were close. Uh, this is... I've seen this. Chaos Daedalus? Yeah. Uh, I need one more zoom. I feel like I know what it is. No, it's not what I thought it was. Oh, that is the OG Endymion. Uh, I th
I don't know which one. Oh, it's not OG and it's Crusader. Oh, it's the Gemini. Okay, I didn't I didn't recognize it. That's that was bad. That was supposed to be very easy. Uh that's an Infernoble. Morgus? Is it Morgus? Okay. Mm. That's a fortune fairy, isn't it? Solitaire? What solitaire? Solitaire magician? Oh, not a fortune fairy. Okay. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. This is some resonator stuff, obviously, but I don't know what it's called. It's like maybe Fiend's Hand Mirror or something? No, not that. Okay, good. Good thing I skipped. Uh, Doom Kaiser, right? No. Assault mode? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, Thoughtscaper. Or Terahertz. Honestly, they should accept Terahertz as an answer if, if Thoughtscaper shows up. You just put Terahertz. It's the same thing, isn't it? Right? Uh, Octodic. Origin. It's somehow always origin. Oh, this is uh text something text cha text changer. I thought it was text frogger for a second. Mm. I don't know what that it's not deep sea nettle, is it? Kragen spawn. Hmm. Uh, Felgrand. Well, this is recent because it still has the Yu-Gi-Oh log logo on it. It's something Visas lore. Is it Scareclaw Straddle? No. Alternative? That's the one. Uh, I think that's Crimson Blader. Yeah. Uh, that's Alpha. That's not Alpha? Oh, it is not alpha. Well, it kind it's kind of alpha. Yeah. That was just unfortunate. Uh, that's another Visa's lore card, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe I'm... Where's Arctic or Drytron, I think, is where we're at. Drytron Asterism. Okay, a couple tough ones. Uh, no idea what that is either. Jumbo drill. That is certainly what it looks like. Uh, Gale. Gale lizard. <laughs> okay, don't hit me with the... Don't hit me with the uh, with the April Fool stuff. Uh, Gyakuten Megami. Mm, 
Okay, that's a that's a raid raptor. Pain Lanius. Nope. It is a Lanius. Tribute Lanius. Singing Lanius. Noir Lanius. I'm skipping. It wasn't even a Lanius. Okay, that's unfortunate. We never had a chance to begin with. That's a Constellar. Washed up? It is looking quite washed up. Priceppe. Mm. Who is that? Is that Azure? Alternative Ultimate? I didn't even know that existed. It's also not correct. <laughs> Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate? Oh, that one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shifting Shadows. Um is that it's not the signal, it's D force, right? It's the it's the one that do you put up next to plasma, I think. Yeah. Uh this is the uh so it's angel dice and skull dice, right? Oh, the other one is not even called is it called angel? It's called graceful dice, right? Uh, who is this? Oh, uh, is that GG Easy? No. Oh, it's the it's ah, it's the evil twin. Um, kiss and kill and Leela, the brick. Dude, this is so annoying with the star. Sniper. Come on, give me 700 at least. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh no, it's doomed. Oh, this is... Oh, it's Ariel. Uh... Not looking good for 700, guys. Not gonna lie. That's some speedroid. Pachinko card. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, God. Oh, the spy. What is this called? What is the spy called? I don't know. Tactical espionage? Okay, well. It was most certainly washed. I applied for a cat at the shelter and the requirement was a clean environment. I said my name is Joshua Schmidt and it was clear that the house will always be washed. That's a good one because it also fits the occasion. I'll allow that one. I'll allow that one. That was, that one was not bad. That one was not bad. <laughs> I'll allow it. All right, let's quickly let's 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 quickly do this one and then get into the stuff for today. All right, we are looking for a low level effect monster, not a dark, not a warrior, not an exceed, low attack, low defense, newer than twenty fifteen. Um, let's do a pearly, and it is a light monster. It is. Ooh, it could just be a. Let's let's try a. Let's try a link to Brock Sea Dragon. It is a Link 2, light monster, not a Cybers, uh, even less than 1400 attack, and newer than 2017. It has more than 100 attack, so I don't think it can be Hieratic Seals. Um, less than 1400 attack, it could be Lilla, right? 
Lilla. Oh no, Kisi kills the light one. He. Kisi kill. Oh. Ah, come on, man. Way too easy. Way too easy. The hardest part about this was finding out where the freaking hyphen is in the name. Anyways. Easy clap. Easy clap. All right. You guys, welcome to the stream. Once again, sorry I'm a little bit late today, but I announced it because I was visiting, uh, or we were visiting our potential future cat. Um, so we're starting a little bit later, but we're also streaming a little bit longer to make up for it, so it should be fine. And, uh, and that is that. The plan for today uh, involves a couple things. A couple things, but most importantly, we're going to play some Master Duel with the new cards and try some of the new decks, because uh, obviously we had the Challenger Cup last Friday with the new cards, but uh, I haven't played with any of it myself yet. But um, yeah, the Challenger Cup was really fun last Friday, and so we're, I, I'm, I'm kind of hyped to play with some of these cards uh, myself. Like Most notably, obviously... We're going to try to learn some un Unchained uh, stuff. We're going to try to look into some uh, some Labyrinth with Arias and, and all that kind of stuff. And then look about some other stuff that's in there as well. Better time for Americans? God, yes. Yo, what's up, Christian Urena? Four-time YCS champion. Congratulations. Everyone uh, congratulate Christian Urena in chat. He just won YCS. Uh, what was it? Colombia? Medellin? Congratulations. Well done. Uh, yes. Uh, anyways, before we hop into any of that, though, I have, uh, some news, which are good news for me, and also hopefully good news for you guys, because we have a new sponsor on the stream, and I want to announce the new sponsor, and I hope it's interesting for you guys as well, I mean, otherwise it'd be a weird sponsorship. Uh, the new sponsor is, uh, someone who you can guys go to now for all your trading card game needs in terms of accessories, sleeves, uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, people have been asking me left and right, what kind of sleeves do you use? And now I can finally point them in a direction. And uh, the new sponsor is uh, Holon Card Shop. It's a shop, uh, OTS store, based in uh, Germany, but they, they do ship, I, I believe it's worldwide, I have to double check. I'm pretty sure they also, they also sh ship to like the US and stuff, but they definitely ship to all of Europe and probably also worldwide. Um, Anyways, they have all kinds of uh, all kinds of stuff for all kinds of TCGs. Um, most notably, they have a ton of OCG sleeves as well, which I know you guys are fans of. Um, they have those for a pretty good price, better than previous sponsors that I had. And um, you can check those out. They have the they have the over sleeves that I'm using, which are the Dragon Shield outer sleeves. Um, all that kind of stuff. They have uh, they even have like Pokemon Center merch, which is like pretty cool depending on uh if you're into that kind of stuff but everything to all your trading card needs you can find at hollow on card shop uh they even have some singles uh single cards psa graded cards sleeves uh ocg product all that kind of stuff you can have uh five percent off by using josh five at, at checkout i believe it's all in all caps josh in all caps and then a five so <laughs> Simo, thank you for it then. Uh, so yeah, feel free, exclamation mark, call on to check them out. And uh, I hope that you guys like the stuff that they have. And I hope it's going to be a long time partnership. Hope you guys are interested in the in the sleeves and all that kind of stuff. And I hope it, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the stuff that they offer. Anyways. That is, uh, that is that news out of the way. Welcome, Hall on Card Shop, to the channel. Appreciate you guys for supporting the stream. And uh, yeah, you guys go check them out. All right. That is cool. The other news that we have is uh, not sponsor related, but Yu Gi Oh! strictly Yu Gi Oh! related, which is that they have announced the next core set after. Um, uh, what is it? We have Legacy of Destruction, then we have Infinite Forbidden which we are currently getting all the spoilers for. And now they have announced the Rage of the Abyss, which is the next core set after. People are already saying in chat, it's the year of the water. Who knows? 
who knows, but it might be. The name, the name certainly suggests it, you know? The name certainly suggests it. Um, some other people are saying uh, Burning Abyss support, I don't know. I feel, like, uh, I feel like it's more likely it's water support. It'd be kind of fitting, you know? It'd be kind of fitting to have like a fire versus water format too. You know, I, I, I think that'd be kind of cool. For now, it's all speculation. As far as I'm concerned, we don't even have like the, uh, the, the pack artwork yet. So we have no guesses. It was all just, uh, you know, this, this was the only announcement that I was able to find. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it. We're, I, we, are not even, we are not even remotely close to having all the, all the cards from Infinite Forbidden released so it's a little early to speculate what's in here but i just thought i would uh i would mention it you know uh cosmic camp thank you for the two months and St steel taiko thank you for the prime appreciate the first time prime thank you so much welcome to the stream all right all these things being said let us open up Yu-Gi-Oh master duel and try some of these new cards. I'm I'm hyped. I've been waiting all weekend to uh, to play with these cards. Uh, I haven't um, I haven't pulled a single bonfire, and I think I'm out of gems. So we're gonna have to craft those. Unfortunately, let me quickly check. Let me quickly check what the gem situation is like. Pepega credit. I don't really want to. Uh, maybe, maybe like a little bit so we can open like 10 packs or something, but like, I, I don't know. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, we can open 10. Hold up. Baguska mate. I'll, I'll have a look at that. Give me a second. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Toilet seat on acid. Thank you for the prime. All right. Here we are. Uh, we have uh, we have sixteen hundred gems out of nowhere. Uh, which let me let me see what the situation is with the pack. I don't know exactly how much we pulled of everything. Uh, okay, so I have. I have four Unchained Abomination. Phenomenal. I have only one Yama. That's not great news. I have three Kaiser. That's not great news. I have no Dempsey, no Lancer, two Sharvara, no Emperor, one Trooper. So basically, I've pulled playsets of everything that I don't need playsets of. Phenomenal. Anyways, let's open 10 more and then just craft the rest. That is not looking very good. So the, the, the weird thing is, the fucked up thing is if we pull no ultra rare, I'm going to really want to open another 10, but I don't have the gems for 10. That's how, that's how they get you. Skip for royal. I've been lied to. Well, I got an ultra. Well, I got an ultra. Uh, Ingmar, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Appreciate you a lot. Okay. Uh, let's just go seven single packs. Because these are always insane. And then craft the rest. Why are they not insane? Hello? Okay, that's the uh, fourth Kaiser. Dude, one bonfire, man. One. Nope. Nope. Baguska, mate. Dude, it's only available for nine days? Only nine days you can get the Baguska? Well, I can't get it now, but I might still get it.
Äh, okay. Let me dismantle. Uh, we never really need multiple of this. We cannot, we don't need a single one of these. Uh, you don't need two banshees. No, no, no. Uh, this, this, this. I guess if you play... Let's keep a second one, just in case you play some extravagance somewhere. Technically, this card is not terrible. Dude, that's barely any ultras that I can craft. That's so bad. Oh, the War Rock. Deep Sea Prima Donna. Where did I have... Where did I get these random ultras from? Oh, that was on Friday. I remember. Okay. Up, up. Ah, inscription's fine. Uh, oh yeah, I think you're the 21. You can always open more pack. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, don't force me to pay your credit. Uh, let me see. 160 is what I have now. That's five ultras, right? So that's triple bonfire, double arias. But then I don't have the third Sharvara and no Yamas. That's not looking good. That's not looking good. Uh, okay, 10, 10, 10. We open 10 more, but only if you guys check if you have your Prime available, okay? Because otherwise, this is a losing stream once again. <laughs> That's the deal. We gamba. Okay, good. <laughs> Appreciate you. That worked. Five primes. You see, the thing is, the thing is, I'll, I'll have you know, five primes, five primes, I appreciate you guys, but five primes does not make up for this, <laughs> for the 22 that I just spent. I'm just letting you know that the math still does not quite add up, but it certainly helps. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go. Hella bonfires. Hella bonfires. Oh, that's hella bonfires. That's all bonfires. That's all bonfires. Uh, all right. Uh, XXX returns. Roughneck. Puffcap. Zito Shmibo. Zibatman. Nairito. Polzik. ZV. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Except for ZV. Actually, I, I take it back. I just no saw the, the, the Ray cosplays thingy. I'll take it back. I take it back. <laughs> Too late? Okay, unfortunate. Yo! Oh, it's Kaiser, man! No! Star. Uh, okay, well, it's at least glossy. Master Keys, thank you for the three. I have two Barons. Should I disenchant one or are there decks that play two? Uh, you can disenchant one. It's very, very rare that you need a second one. I don't think, I don't even think I have a second one and I've been playing Baron for a long time in different stuff. Skip for good luck? That doesn't really work. I've noticed. Where are the bonfires? Yeah, I don't know. I was promised bonfires as well, dude. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Come on, man! Uh, do you know if 
Apollon Ships International. I'm NA and not EU. You know what? I'm going to message them right now and find out for you. Um... I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know as soon as they answer. But I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. How did I not pull a bonfire? We pulled what? Four ultras? It's actually criminal. Actually, this card's okay. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of want to keep the volcanics just in case I want to try volcanics. I guess Tistina is never going to be good. And one abomination. This is... This makes me able to craft seven ultras. Seven ultras is the missing Sharvara. The two missing Arias. One Yama. And three bonfires. Right? Unless I need three Yamas, that's fine. Right, okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, you guys, what do we try first? Do we play... Uh, two options. Two options. Do we play um, Unchained? Or do we play the Blind Second Labyrinth deck with Arias? Okay, that is definitely more unchained in the chat right now. There's definitely more unchained in the chat. We'll do both. Don't worry about it. We'll do both today. Um, but yeah. Okay. Cool. Now. Um, let me see. All right. This... What was the ratio they played in the TCG, right? They, they but I, I think in Master Rule, maybe you play three and three. Then, um, we have the Prosperity. We have, do we play Tour Guide in Master Duel because of Max C? Let's not play tour guide. Um, you forgot Yama? Oh yeah, right. Yama. Can I get away with two Yamas? Probably. Let's try with two. Uh, we play Ash for the Maxi. We definitely play Called By for Maxi. Can this deck... Can this deck um, play Yama? Not really, right? I guess, I guess you could, if you start with a set card and then Aruha or Sharvara, you have no monsters. We could try that.
which is the one that locks you into fiends? You should play cross out. Uh, if we play, then we have to play the the hand the right hand traps for it as well, right? We need like Nibiru because I do want to play triple tax, uh, at least to an extent. Maybe like re thrust one talents at the very minimum, but rather I'd honestly I'd want st I want I'd want to play three talents. Uh, anyways, high king, one or two Caesars. Did, you, did this deck play Muckraker? I think so, right? You need three Rakea if no tour guide. Yeah, yeah, we have to... We, uh, also, what about the DDD package? The... Um, this and... Uh, this is also an Ultra that I don't have. Why do I not have this? Master Rule Musics. Oh, right, my bad. Hold up. Um, uh, bah, bah, How much money did you spend on Master Rule over the years? I I don't know the exact number. It's it's a decent amount for sure. Um uh, you what do we link into without it's just Nightmare Unicorn, right? We definitely play Nightmare Unicorn. Do we play Griffin? Tour guide plus Rhino is mandatory one card combo. I don't want to craft three tour guides right now, even though you might be right. I want to try without first. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I want to try without. Um, so if we play the DDD package, that is just three of this. This guy and. Uh, which one's the, oh this one. Um, we're already over 40 and we haven't even put Imperm yet, which I really want. Uh, Luke Tyler, thank you for the ride. Uh, raid. Hope you had a good stream. Appreciate you. This is way too many cards already, but those are, those are like the kind of cards I would want to be playing. Cut down, cut down on talents. Probably, yeah. We can definitely generate the supers. I have enough super rare stuff. This. This. Uh, definitely that. Definitely that. The thing is, if I make tour guides now, if I make tour guides, I don't have the crafting points for the other stuff. Like, I can't even make uh, Arias. Hmm. Darius. I mean, the thing is, if we don't play tour guide, we definitely need more like Rakeas, right? Let's try to replace tour guide with Rakeas. So now it's 50 cards. <laughs> We're going in the wrong direction. Um, dude, this deck is tight. Maybe we take out thrust or like this. Okay, that's one step. Uh, 
one Nibiru just for cross out. Cut Gamma. I mean, this deck has often been played around like 45, uh, 43 cards, right? Because of how, uh, because of how tight it is and hard to fit everything, right? And because you have some one of bricks that you don't really want to draw, I don't think it's that bad to play like 42, 43. Uh, we do have less prosps, that's true. We go five traps. What if we just cut cross out in Nibiru? I think that's all right. Uh, what am I missing in the extra deck? I forgot. Did they play? Do I play Darius without um, Tour Guide? Goddess? We can play Goddess. Okay. You know, the thing is, let's just play a couple rounds and see how it feels. Because it's also, it's been a while since I've practiced Unchained Lines. I actually have never brought this deck to a big tournament. So I don't, I don't think I'm super comfortable with these lines. Or I never was super comfortable with them. Let's use this one. Why no tour guide? I want to make sure before I spend the ultra rare points because I don't have much at the moment. And I want to try the other decks as well. It's, it doesn't necessarily mean that I wouldn't play it. I just don't have them right now. I might add them at some point. We're playing against Duelist A, by the way. So we are literally Duelist B at the moment. Alright, sick. We have bricked. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Nice. Now, if this was tour guide, we would have played. That is true. Oh, we resolved Maxi. Okay. <laughs> Good guys. You don't have to finance my tour guides. It's fine. <laughs> Why do they have birth in these moments? Are they going in or not? I mean, I, I, if I was them, I wouldn't go in because I bricked, which is good for me because this attacking this actually unbricks me, so... So... It's not worth destroying something right now, right? Probably a bomb. I don't I don't feel the need to go abomination here at all. It's I think it's Sharvara or Shayama. Shayama would be nice because I could use it to, to pop like called by the grave before anything next turn. 
Well, they don't have called by. They would have called by my maxi. Okay, don't have to worry about called by. <laughs> but it would... Um, it would... Force like imperm before I do anything. I think it's Shravara though. Yeah, it's fine. We'll we'll make tour guides after this game. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. My on a on a more serious note, my um my motivation to try without tour guide was that I think tour guide is very bad into maxi but i think the deck is just bad into maxi no matter what you do is the problem every deck is bad into maxi that's not true <laughs> don't call me a peasant Yeah, that's fine though, that's okay. The thing is, there's no way that if, if this is this end up, ends up not being OTK, I think I, I have to be messing up. Like there's no shot that this is not OTK, right? So we go, I mean, I have to respect Nib somehow. I'm not sure how, but... They have something, which is not the back row. No, the set is original Sinful Spoils. Uh, okay, so we've used Charvara already. Um, we've used Tharama too. Mm, so we just grab Aruha here. I think what we do is we Aruha our back row load into Shayama. Shayama pops the Aruha, right? Yeah. And then we can threaten um, Caesar. Yeah, we drew an out to that because we're the best. And we even have thrust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we high rolled them. Have I summoned five times already if I floated this? Because now I can I can just talents at their hand. So I normal summoned, I made Yama, I summoned Aruha, that's three, this is four, yeah. They can't even nib me yet. Talents take? I could also Talents take to win under Nibiru, that's true. That way, I also don't really have to do any math later. <laughs> you got the cat. Not yet, not yet. But we want it. Could be a bestial. It could be a bestial. In which case, I mean, the thing is, if it's the bestial now, I, we can still do some nice stuff in main phase too. It's okay, I think, if it's a bestial. I think it was Valor though. I'm pretty sure it was Valor.
Okay, this game was a little bit scuffed, but it's fine. Well, we're, we're gonna get tour guides. We're gonna get tour guides. But it was all actually, guys, it was actually better to uh, to break turn one there because we didn't have an out to max C yet. So we needed to load up our powers for one turn to draw into the called by the grave, right? And so, you know, it was actually five head to not have tour guide there because had we started with tour guide, uh, they would have max C'd us. We wouldn't have been able to deal with it. They would have drawn an out to our maxi with their maxi. Huh? Anyways, let's get tour guides. So can you... Is there a pack for tour guide? No. Dude, you put Washua there in Japanese letters. That's crazy. Okay, anyways. There's no pack for it? Okay, so we can just open the bonfire pack, right? For some extra ultras. I mean, I, ha I already technically have the ultra rare CP. I already have them. I can just... Uh, that, that just means later on, if we want to make bonfires or areas, we have to open the pack again. That's fine. Rhino, and then we cut two Rakeas. And we leave it at this, I suppose. This is roughly how they ran it in the TCG, right? This is pretty much what they did. Appaloosa? Do I need Appaloosa? I, I, I don't know the Appaloosa lines. I, I can see taking out Goddess for Appaloosa or something. I'll see. Do you want the spreadsheet? Nah, I, I prefer learning the hard way and making mistakes in the, uh, on the way there. It's okay. But you can link it in case people in chat want it. Uh, Voxis, thank you for the Prime, appreciate you. Max Hanerchik, thank you for the full year, appreciate you as well. Thank you, thank you. This hand is good. Chicken game? Oh, no. What does this mean? Oh, oh okay. It's just Diabelsa or something? Dude, Chicken Game Magician Souls... It's kind of nice. Oh no. Oh no. What does this mean, guys? What does this mean? What do they mean by this? Spiral? Dude. Do we ash it or do we let him gamba? Navi gamba. You guys are weak. Everyone who said Ash that shit is weak. Okay, hold up. When a level 6 or higher monster is normal or special summon tribute or level 10... Destroy as many monsters your opponent controls. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not letting him draw two. Can rollback copy that? Rollback can copy that. You don't have to. Okay. You don't have to tribute to level ten, but it still has to fulfill the requirements for it. Dude, what was that?
Oh. Oh. Okay, I see what they try to do. So, what they try to do is they try to set up Nightmare Archfiend on the field with this in the graveyard plus rollback. Then you activate this. Special three Nightmare tokens, 2,000 attack. Each time one is destroyed, they would take 800. Then you trigger this, which inflicts 6,000 damage because of the three tokens. And if the token dies, that's 2,400 more. Curious. Oh yeah, they play Curious as well. They play 11 extra deck, which is crazy. Dude, that's scary. Okay. Play it? I don't have chicken games. Try it out, Troll Despair. Oh, come on. You just forced me to make three tour guides. If I make three chicken games, I don't even have... Uh, spend more money. Oh, I don't. Why is it always wanted, man? It's always wanted. Never die a bell star. All right, here comes a real challenge. Breaking this board with engine. That is not looking easy. We have a good engine hand, but um, I have my doubts, honestly. Unless they make a really early Apollosa and we can take that with talents. That'd be okay, but I, th I think this one's going to be too hard. Aruha plus trap plus thrust breaks any board. I mean, we even have the, the contract on top. Like, the hand is good. Very good, but um, I still have my doubts. I like how they went for the field spell and then just like... Oh, no, they are playing around Nib. Never mind. I was chatting. They're fine. I've been playing so much off stream and winning going second with zero hand traps is so satisfying. I love this deck. This deck is very cool, yeah. The my issue, at least in my head, the issue is I think you can we can probably break the board, quote unquote. Uh if there's no maxi. Uh we can probably break the board and play. The thing is, the question is, can we set up a strong enough board to deal with their follow-up? Because they have a lot of follow-up, including like birth as well. But, yeah. The other question is, am I good enough with the deck yet to break this board? Which I'm not sure I am. Why are you bringing back the... Where's the IP Masquerina now? What is the... What is... Huh? Yeah... Okay. Oh, that's how you get another Flamberg? You didn't need to do all that. Okay, well, anyways. What if you had drawn that with the heat soul? Oh. I'll shut mouth.
That's the one thing I hate about Unchained. That's the one thing. The one thing I don't like about Unchained is that. Is these kind of cards. It's so annoying. <sighs> okay. Call end of main. Ah, uh, maybe I should have done that. It's very risky though. If they if they don't take the bait, uh, we lose the game. Cause honestly, in this in this position, they can just let me go battle phase and keep the flamberge. They have infinite follow up, Promethean engrave. Like I I personally would let someone go battle phase here. We have to try. But I... The thing is, there these decks typically run the Biru, so... It's not going to be possible. I have to take now. I mean, I technically, okay, I technically only have to deal, I mean, 6k not that bad so like this goes into the scale right destroy them special summon this card well this means i can just take the heat soul right have so many bodies dude how am i supposed to
Sick. Rank 6? If I do the rank 6 now, my turn ends. Deck them out. 19 special summons? No. We're locked into fiends, guys. We can't do Zeus. Not that Zeus would help, because they have infinite cards in hand. Do you have to use that? No, right? That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Without Maxi, that could have been an interesting game, you know? I feel like that's not the first time I've said that. Weird. Weird how that works sometimes. Oh, is this tomahawk bullshit? Oh. Well, yeah, now they're exceeds locked, yeah. So, not too bad, actually, the... Okay, we've lost one of Sarama, that's a little annoying, but other than that, it's not too bad of a situation. We have talents for the Rysart. The scary thing? Is if they have Ash, because they can Ash Thrust, and we can't call by the Ash, because our Rise Heart is going to be there. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, but they don't have ash. Okay, cool. Okay. Do you not lose to the zone lock? Why? He can banish itself and then lock three zones. How would that lock three? I'm, I don't know what I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure what you mean. They lock one more zone now. I don't know. And then the second one with the unicorn. But I, they can't lock more than... Oh, they lock one more with the Shangri. That's what you mean. No, they, they banish once with this, a second time with this. And then I still have two, so I'm good to go, right? Birth? Well, nothing hits the graveyard yet. Because the Arise Heart was still around, so like there's nothing to birth yet. And birth has to banish three cards. So it's it takes a while until they can use birth to banish. Do we activate another spell? I mean, only if they were to... I'm pretty sure we go for this one, though. Okay, this one... I'm not sure the exact order and best order here. Kind of just winging it. Um, I'm thinking... It might be Sarama here. Oh, no, we lost Sarama. Oh, that's bad. Um, Then... Oh, no, we, we're adding right now. Uh, We're adding to hand. I thought we were summoning. So we add this one. And then that just activates, pops this, specials, this, specials, blue, blue activates, targets this, get rid of birth for follow up, because I'm not sure if I'm, I mean, we should be able to kill since they're on 5,000, but I... I'm not I'm not super comfortable with my 
unchained lines. Uh, how does the red dog work again? Just link summon a dark monster with it if I want to. Uh, I should have summoned Rakea here. I should have summoned Rakea. Maybe. Mm. If I go with this. Uh, here. This. Link with you. Into you. You... Up this I there might we, we're definitely killing. I'm not sure if there was a line that would have done this and played under Nibiru. There's there's a possibility. But I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure if that was possible. Maybe. Unchained going second is very fun. Yeah. Oh we knew it was Rysart. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Are we going to try Unchained Labyrinth at some point? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay, this hand is nice. Mm. I feel like in this case, it could be okay to start with Prison and the Trap. See if we get into... Because this is already combo. We check if we get Disrupted. If yes, we can check for like an Extender with Prosperity. If no, we can check for like Maxi with Prosperity. I think that's the best way to go about it. Or like, let's say we get max seed and we decide to cult by it, then it's not great to take a max seed with prosperity. But if we don't have to cult by a max seed, then we can prosperity for max seed. You so on and so forth. You get what I mean, right? How's the Unchained deck so far? It's definitely good. And it's fun. The it, it definitely is weaker than the Snake Eye deck, for sure. Okay, I don't know why we left, but sure. It is very fun, and it is good. It is good. If we rank up, we're trying uh, the Labyrinth deck. How does that sound? Not that expensive either. I mean, it's, uh, it's got quite a few ultras now, but the old cards aren't. That's right. Okay. That hand is awful. That is not a rank up hand. Usually it's also not a shotgun maxi hand because if they just pass back, we have nothing. Well, now it is. Tour Guide would have fixed this. I mean, I played Tour Guide. Oh no, they're gamblers. Ooh, okay. I was gonna imp 
I guess we imperm this. No tier today? Uh, no. I mean, it's got nothing new. I want to try the new cards. The Sharvara pretty much made sure that we wouldn't die because we it's a quick effect. We could have popped the trap card, but I didn't want to play into the Fenrir on this turn. I want to use it next turn. Great. Well, it's not that bad. This one's not terrible to draw. I'm not meaning shifter, no. This is a pretty good Fenrir. Hmm. Are they using the effect? No. Hmm. Let's let's use this. I like getting Rakea here. To dodge the Fenrir. I guess they can just target the Rakea though. But the, I mean, they can banish whatever. That was bait. I, I don't actually care if this gets banished. I don't actually care if this Unchained Soul gets banished face down. It's completely fine. Uh, and now I destroy... They don't have max C, right? So I can just ash this because this is what gives them Havness or Tear Cash, which is more mills and more bodies. So I can just ash this because there's no way they have max C and haven't thrown it yet. Oh, but they have, they might have Tear Cash already. Okay, that's fair enough. But I mean, that's fine. In that case, they would still have Tear Cash plus Havenus, which would still be annoying. But now they mill three, and if they don't hit anything crazy here, it's fine. They mill nothing. Okay, easy clap. So now the question is, do I kill if I use talents on their hand? Um, Probably not, but I can still most likely clear the entire board, right? Like, I can link with their stuff set up my own stuff. I don't have to kill them. I'm pretty sure I can just look at their hand. I don't think... I don't need to take control of anything. I'll just check. It's probably nothing, the card in their hand. But that's fine. Yeah, it's just a Sheeran. Okay. Uh, but now we can just... Okay, which trap had did we have? We had this one. Okay. Uh, and we have... Not normal summoned, right? Yeah. 
Perfect. Perfect. We kind of knew they had tier crash. Oh, because they didn't search with the Fenrir. Yeah, that's actually a good call. I didn't pay attention to that. Mm. So we grab, we can still normal summon this. I can also still use Aruha. Yeah, it's Aruha. Aruha here. Escape grabs Sarama. Um. We can make anguish here. Blue dog. I don't play the blue dog. Blue dog is ass. Uh, if I link with this, they don't get to mill, right? Let me let me try this for science, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah. This now wants to reset this because this one hasn't triggered yet. Effect. Yeah. Sweet. All right. This deck's fun. I like Unchained. I like Unchained. I wish. Uh, I wish we had more time in the TCG to play with it. That was cool. Okay, let's try tier limits. Uh, Labyrinth. Uh, I think we're gonna have to pay our credit for it, though, which is unfortunate. I didn't plan to do this, but the tour guides kind of uh, offset me. Okay. Uh, let me see. We still... I'm pretty sure we still have zero bonfire. I'm pretty sure we still have zero bonfire and... Uh, yeah. Zero bonfire, one Arias. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some more packs for this one, unfortunately. All right. Uh, papa. Give this guy his pillars. I have three pillars already. Minus 23. AFXS, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you offsetting my losses. <laughs> thank you so much. Give bonfire now. This is the sixth or seventh one. Come on now. Come on now. Utopia. Thank you. Okay. One bonfire. Now give me an Arias. Eh, okay. I didn't have him yet. I'm not sure if we're gonna try Volcanics, but if, if we are gonna try Volcanics, at least I don't have to craft them, because that would feel bad. Okay, I needed him too. That's alright.
Clawless. Uh, Funky Frank, thank you for the nine months. Congratulations on your Nats invite. Uh, I, I think Pearly is okay. I don't think it's great, but it's all right. It depends what you're trying to do at Nationals. You know, if you're trying to top or win, I'm, I'm not sure if I would go with Pearly, but it's okay. Come on, one Arias. Or one Bonfire. Oh, man. Please let me craft. Please let me have enough ultra rare thingies. Oh, I have to reach. I've reached the maximum. I guess we can just adjust the old labyrinth one. We are down bad. I don't want to spend anymore. If we spend a ridiculous amount already, dude, we've pulled two ultras. We can get rid of. It's actually so sad. We don't need two zero boros except for that one deck. Kek by Ashoka Pillar. <laughs> okay, I'll get rid of one, the glossy one. Because mm, that one annoys me, anyways. You don't really need Geo Grasha. Okay, I have some stuff actually that I can get rid of. Uh, one more. Why do I have two Rotas? Oh, the gold event. Right. I'll keep that. Just in case that returns. Copium. One more. One. There has to be some stinker ultra somewhere. Second lost. You don't need to lost. No shot. Okay. Okay, now we never have to go back into this cursed pack again, because we can just craft two areas, two bonfire, and we're done. Finally. Okay. So, uh, blind second Arias Labyrinth, right? That was what they played. They did have, they did have the Black Goat Laugh in their deck, right? Which might be a, which might be a problem that we don't have that. But, yeah, we'll see. How are they both glossy? What are the odds for that? Ten percent each. What what kind of day is today? What kind of day is today? Okay, I'm doing the bonfires as well, just to check what kind of what kind of weird day today is. Okay, the, the, I hate, I actually, you guys are going to say lucky. I hate this. I genuinely hate this. I hate having two regulars and one glossy. I hate having one regular and two glossies. I just don't like that. I think royals are cool, but the glossy ones annoy me. It, it annoys me that they look like this now. Like, why does it have to be different ones? The Aria is the same. I would have rather, I would trade my glossy areas for a regular one if I could, but I can't. And I'm mad. Oh.
thing is... Hmm. We can also... You know what we can also play? Which probably works better without the Black Goat Laps. Is the... We can play the Dinka Bui version from YCS Bologna. Right? The Trap Trick one? That one seems good. Hold up. Uh... Because that had, um, that certainly had Crabtrick and uh, Arias, right? Hold up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, that looks, that looks better for Master Duel right now. Hold up. Let me, I'll, I'm gonna empty it completely to, to have a better overview of what we're playing. Uh, okay, so it plays three backjack. Then for the Labyrinth cards, it plays three Arias, three, three Ariane, two, one, all the furniture you can, one of this, plays the field spell, plays setup, plays three and two. So the only thing that I'm worried about the only thing that I am worried about with all of this is um, that we only have four furnitures, which makes a lot of a lot of stuff a little bit worse. But okay. Uh, anyways, it plays trap trick. It plays three the rumors. Uh, it plays imperm. Uh, it plays Ice Dragon's Prison. Two. Uh, what else? What am I missing? I plays Ash. And then for obviously you would play Maxi. And it he also played one punishment, which I'm not sure if I like, but. Okay, so his list was 41. Um, I'm not sure if we want Ash in Master Duel at the moment. I'm going to be honest with you. It's okay, but this deck doesn't really, it doesn't really care about Max C, does it? We might not need Ash in this one. Punishment, dude, the extra deck is... Ugh, you guys are so annoying sometimes, really, un unironically. Punishment, but no extra deck, kick W. Punishment, no extra deck, what, an, what, what a stupid deck that is. What a stupid... How stupid it is to be in the deck building process and not have it be perfect yet. Um, so we play Punishment, so we play Anthus. We play um, Malong, Garura, Bucephalus, uh, Styles Clash. Thank you for the 16 months. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you. We play Goddess. Mm, dark. Eos Angel. The only thing is, I have no idea if, if and how we can break a Snake Eye board with this. If we do go second against it, I guess we kind of have to hope we can hand trap them enough. Clara and Rushka. Mm. no rollback well this was before that's the thing we have to we have to think about some changes because this was before rollback was a thing and we can definitely play rollback 
Um, the question is... Do we play rollback? Because we already only have four furniture pieces. We already only have four furniture pieces. And we already, like, the, the backjack is already kind of annoying, but... Um, play it with Kit Kalos? <laughs> Hold up. Okay, how do we... We would need... We can play Kid Kalos for punishment. Kid Kalos for punishment. And we play like a small Dogmatica pack. Okay, hold up. We are we are now in the process of cooking. Hold up. Uh roll back. We play Ecclesia and we play three serve. We have to cut down some stuff if we do this. But I want to keep the back jacks. If we play this mill 5 stuff. Uh, we cut one of this. We probably cut setup. This is now no longer a Dinka Bui deck. But it still is possible to play it this way. Now we just have to make it like closer to 40. Cut Trap Trick. I think Trap Trick is very important for the... Um, trap Trick is important for the odds in this deck, right? The odds of having a good trap with Arya's. Like, Arya's Trap Trick is completely insane. Mm. Maybe we cut the Field Spell. It is good, but if we mill it, it doesn't do anything anyways. This is not blind second, no. Let's try this. Hold up. Uh, what is what is missing in the extra deck even? Is there any good punishment target that I'm missing? Fossil. Wind Pegasus. I don't think most of this matters. Uh, I guess... Yeah, I guess we can play two Entis. Because we play two Punishments now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this is a little bit of a Gamba deck, but it should be fun. Clara is meant for SP. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're probably right. It's not that relevant. No Sharvara. I do like... I do want to try um, Unchained with Labyrinth cards. Uh, Labyrinth with Unchained cards too, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, they milled Sharon. That's not great. Um...
Maybe I grab Arias. Who set my Ice Dragon's prison. But then... Ah, this is so weird. This is so weird because the way the chains work... Don't... They, they, it, the, it depends. If they play it right, then this doesn't do anything. But I think it's still Arias. So they chain... They activate Havnus here. And what I am scared of is them going... Make Kid Kalos Send a tier name... To make rule close because that that messes up my deck right so what i can do is i can let them do this right i let them make kit close they activate kit close effect i chain arias to set ice dragons prison and then they can't send another name uh the problem is that they will see that i'm setting ice dragons prison so they will not send another name but i think still the fact that this stops them from doing it that is, is, is necessary, because if they make a turn one rule close, I get cooked. And there's always the chance that they completely mess up and send the Havness anyways. So here... You need to chain Arias. But now they will see. No. Set this. Now they see what I'm doing. There's no way they send like Havness here. It'd be so dumb. Arias doesn't show? Are you sure? I think it shows. I don't remember having played against it, though. I think it does show. This was like the worst case scenario that they just don't mill tier names and instead they mill like trippy karma, but... It does show, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows. I, I... The thing is, I felt like I knew that or I did know that. But um, it it was just it was it was astounding like honestly crazy how many people in chat spammed the same message of like it doesn't show which made me think again but then I I forgot how little you guys know sometimes so my bad No, I wasn't one guy. It was definitely like 10 people. This is another problem that has occurred, because now there is no Aqua.
At the moment, there is no Aqua that I can banish. Oh my god, they milled Snow, Keldo, Meta Noise with the first mill. Send Havnus. Mill Shirin too. Yeah, it's Jover. We lose this. We definitely fucking lose this. Hold up, what are they fusing into? They have like no fusion material in the graveyard. And they are, they triggered the meta noise on the kit. Hmm. Okay. They have King of the Swamp in hand too, of course. I miscalculated. They should just let me have it. Yeah, that's not right. I mean, it's not terrible either, but... Traveler a problem? I mean, this game is over. Yeah, this this game is over anyway. I don't even know why I'm still playing. They have an Omni Negate for one of my back rows as well. Like, that was just crazy. Arias not the greatest here. It's probably the thing is it's fine. Arias is still an okay discard for furniture. I don't hate that about that's that's one thing I like about Arias is that you just like you're okay. Do we mill five? Do we mill five or do we draw a card? It was never a question. Okay. The problem is we're going to shuffle our deck <laughs> anyways. No, there's the rollback. Well, we're going to shuffle our deck anyways. It's unfortunate because we milled the same uh, furniture that we already have. And we milled an Arias, which we also already have. No welcome lab, no big welcome. It's okay. Wouldn't have furniture, discard, Ecclesia have been better? 
Well, this is once per turn, though. Like, I then I don't have punishment. Or what? What do you mean? Uh, let's check if we hit a trap with this. Because I, I want that information before I decide on how I use my interruptions. We do get a trap. Not the one that I wanted, but... I don't even know if that's good. Chat, what are the odds I imperm this fucker and they have another... They have the field spell in hand already. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, this, is this once per turn? You can only use each effect once per turn. Yes, it's once per turn. Okay. No going second lap today. I look. We can try the other version of Labyrinth too. We've we've still got time. Uh, I think now it's a punishment angle. You're going longer. I mean, we started later, so yeah, we we've still got some time. I don't know yet. It depends how long I'm, however long I'm feeling, guys. However long, I don't have a set plan for today. We'll see. It is cool. Can you use both of these effects per turn? Each effect, yeah. If I had a trap, I could like, you know, it'd be pretty cool to bounce this here, but... So what, they need to like top deck the field spell here? Or that, I guess. Okay, yeah, but I mean, like, the thing is, realistically, what could they have done? Splash Mage has been used and Transcode has been used. I feel like we were fine either way.
He did not use transcode. Yeah, but it's in the graveyard. I don't know if they do they play two. G Golem gets it back. Okay. Wow. Hello? Why not maxi? Because it's not not correct to maxi there. Uh, Patty, thank you for the gift sub, by the way. Appreciate you. Thank you. Why is it not correct? Because they just make Kikolos. You draw one card. They search a trap card instead of Telemann's Cash Tira, and then you uh, you still lose to it. Whereas if you let the kick close resolve, uh, you leave them in a more weird spot and they don't search a trap card with it, they search the, the, the tier cache instead. And you still get one draw in this spot if they stop here, but they don't have the other trap that they would have searched otherwise. Shotgun it in the draw phase? I don't think shotgunning it right now is smart depending on your hand. In, with this hand, shotgunning it loses you the game because if they just pass, you have nothing pretty much. Almost nothing. There is no set rule to when you uh, max C, guys. There's no, like, you always shotgun it or you never shotgun it. You shotgun it sometimes. It depends on the metagame and it depends on your hand. Only because your opponent had Unicorn in this spot doesn't mean it was correct to shotgun it here. You guys are just using uh, anecdotal evidence. You're like, oh, see, your opponent had max C. Uh, you should have shotgunned it. And then, like, next game, if I shotgun it against, like, La um, labyrinth and they just set four pass you're like oh see you shouldn't have shotgunned it right that's not how it works <sighs> yeah I think I have to pop the birth. I think birth actually messes me up real bad here. I mean, it's it all messes me up real bad. Like the the thing is the Salik also messes me up completely. But I can maybe force the Salik on the Ariana, uh, on the on the Ecclesia.
but if the if they can the birth beats me in the long run and if i if i ever have to use a spell card again it also gets rid of all my stuff in the graveyard I mean, the thing is, I, they can just let this go if they're smart, because I don't even have good stuff in the extra anymore, really. Never mind. I mean, maybe they have crime anyways, so they feel safe. Okay, Rhino Heart... This is at least a very good maxi. The second one was actually insane. Because they do go for more fusions here. It's just, it's, I mean, our hand has three rollbacks. It's, I, I don't even think this is winnable regardless. Do you think we get the ban list today? It'd be pretty cool, because I'm actually live today. That would be nice. Uh, I mean, tier is a hard matchup, but this hand is especially bad, right? It's like, uh, this was never winnable from the start. Because of how bad our hand was. Do they have a normal trap in the grave? Not really. No. Uh, I guess we at least keep one roll back in hand. Um... This probably has to go in the solid column. Uh, this goes here. This goes here. This Do we set one just for Pearl of Rhino bait. I think so. Might not even work, but. I feel like I might need to start with doing stuff immediately. This mills shufflers I get owned.
Why did you speak? Yeah, I know. My bad, dude. This is not great. This is just not great. I, I don't think I can lose. I, I can win this even if they fumble it very, very hard. They've already not played optimally, but it's just like almost impossible. If one of the three rollbacks was an actual trap card, maybe. One of the three rollbacks needed to be maybe an actual trap card. Then maybe we could talk about this. Like an Ice Dragon's Prison here would have gone pretty hard, you know? Can you copy Meta Noise? Uh, I don't think you can because it needs to send a tier limit. Yeah, and also, I, um, I, you can only use one rollback effect per turn. You can't use both. So even if I could theoretically do it, I could not do it. Because I already used rollback this turn. Is this the worst format of the year so far? I actually don't think so. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's much better than when Super Heavy Samurai was released or anything like that. Like... The tier 11 deck sometimes feels bad to play against. At least I feel bad playing against it sometimes. Because they just draw... Like, it's very hard to play around their stuff because you never know what they mill. Uh, but I, I don't actually have an issue with tier 11. Like, I think the deck's fine. How would you explain the sudden tier resurgence? Uh, I don't know, it did okay in the Duelist Cup. Maybe people realized it's not as bad as they thought. What are they doing? How big is their Cash Tira package? Another Theosis? That's the second one. The third one? They play three Theosis. Hello? Oh, there goes the clock, man. Always the one of. Why didn't they just like, you know, win the game this turn? 
I feel like that was possible. We probably still lose. Surely. They still have the shuffler, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine they summon a rise. No, that's what they're going for, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe not. You would think they would make a rice hard. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. I still wonder what they're gonna make with this Kaleido Heart. Because you can't make another rule Kalos. I guess you can just go Kid Kalos. And then go into Dragostapelia. What did I set with Karma Cannon? Is there anything I can even kill with Ariane? No, right? Yeah. Chaos Angel. My Chaos Angel is banished. <laughs> cool, man. Thank you for the four months. Dude, you were... I was so sad when you got ninth. That was actually sad. Do we run plan B? We run plan B. We do run plan B. But we have no more Entis. Zeus him? We don't play Zeus. What's plan B? Uh, Baguska. The problem is, I... <sighs> they have Salik, so like, what's the point of... of doing that?
I haven't normal summoned, have I? We just need some time for now. We need some time. The Baguska gives us most likely a turn at least to They have to reset the Solic. Or okay, wraith soft, solid goods. What if white? I mean, if they play goddess, they still have to link off a significant portion of their stuff. I, I guess that's fine. There's nothing I can really do about that, though. I have to play now, right? I kind of have to play now. Um, Probably bouncing my own Baguska. It's not great because they can then use Fenrir and all that. I, I'm, I, I'm not winning this. I don't think, but... <laughs> they milled all three tier names. That's very funny. Oh. They use this on Ariana.
Fuse with Rule Colos into Kid Colos. Okay. Oh, it's level one. Okay. I did not anticipate that. Fine. Forgot about that for a second. I probably would have thought of that if I had more time, but I'm kind of just rushing my plays here too, and it's not looking good. It is not looking good. Dude, why are you still milling? Oh, because you have Shuffler and Snow and Havness there. Okay, I see why.
dude, I wish. This is not winnable. Dude, there's two cards left in your deck. How is there a cash Tira? Ogre, of course. Is the last card in deck a tier name? I think it is. Oh, I think it is too. Yeah, how? Oh my god. What is it? Haveness? Yeah, it's the fucking Haveness. Oh. Yeah. Why did you go main phase two? <laughs> what? Are they out of time? <laughs> did you lose? Did you really lose this game? There's no way, man. Nah. Nah, man. Oh, come on, dude. There's no shot. You lost that. That's not possible. That was not possible, man. Oh, God. Oh, come on, man. Ugh. <laughs> oh, God. Let's play the blind second labyrinth. Hold up. Let's play the blind second one. What was the what was the thing with that? It was playing like the rescue ace cards, right? Rescue ace. Uh, what was it? Hold up. Let me. It's definitely got ripple impulse. 
Uh, Joda Cam, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Were you the guy that said if you win this game, I'll sub? Because if uh, then, uh, man of your word. <laughs> Phantasme, yeah. Phantasme. Black Goat is missing? Yes, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's fine. We have Maxi instead. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Toxic Rain. Uh, I Barvin, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we do play a Ku Clark. These we play Backjack because it's a great discard off of Impulse into Fire Attacker. Uh, we don't play Imperm because it contradicts with Phantasme and Impulse. We the Shufflers. Oh right. Uh, we play the Shufflers. Mm, it didn't have. Pretty sure it didn't have punishment. Ready for the April Fool ban list in five minutes? They've never done that, have they? Imagine they would, though. Imagine they would. That'd be so crazy if they ever did that. I don't think they could do that because so like so many people have so much like uh stuff invested into cards. Like it 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 wouldn't be funny to a lot of people that then go and buy cards that aren't actually unbanned and all that. I don't think uh yeah I don't think they could. Uh, Zelnitem, thank you for the gift sub. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Three Ku Clock? There's no way it's three Ku Clock. No. It's probably more traps for Arias. The question is which ones? Um, does anyone still remember that list? I'll go through it real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh... It plays in the Biru, okay. Did it really have three clocks? It did have three clocks. I think the logic on that changes a little bit. Oh, you have a link for it. Okay, that's even better. Hold up, that's easier. Yeah, okay. So the thing is, guys... Um... Who clock at three? We can try it, but I think it's a little bit worse with only four furnitures, right? Like the the odds are like are like worse with three uh, than we had with three um stovies and stuff. Why is the name blind second? Because in the TCG, uh, it, the the list that they played, if they won the coin flip, they would still choose second. Use two to keep the ratio. So, like, you're saying it needs to be two cool clock, two, two of each furniture, because they played three of... Okay, fair enough. Uh, Karma Cannon seems nice. Uh, we can play Karma Cannon. For sure. And then we have three more slots. Uh, which is basically, in their deck, the Black Goat laughs. Because we've replaced... We've basically... We've replaced Nibiru with Maxi. Which is fine. We've replaced one of each furniture with... We have more copies of Ariana at the moment, which I think maybe can be cut, unironically. Hmm. Okay, is there anything in the extra deck that we need to... I honestly think with... Nightmare... Uh, with with uh, Kashira Unicorn being everywhere in Master Duel is um it, it might be smart to play like two of some certain cards anyways because you don't really need your extra deck anyways right i feel like you still play nibiru i mean we can we can play nibiru uh i do think less ariana makes sense because i mean the card is pretty good with arias though to get the missing furniture like that's the thing right if you're if you're missing a furniture piece because you have like backjack in your hand uh, doing stuff like Arias summon Ariana is actually quite okay on the opponent's first turn. Let's stay with the Arianas. Um, I, I still would like to have uh, one more trap. Maybe we do play trap trick. 
just because I don't think there's another trap that is as good at the, as these traps that we are already running, right? This way, if you draw a trap trick with Arias, it can be whichever you're missing, right? If you're missing the, the interruption from the Ruma, you can get that. If you're missing engine from welcome or big welcome, you can get that. So I think maybe, maybe we try to fit trap tricks in here. Transaction rollback? Transaction rollback doesn't make that much sense in this list. Mm. We can just try it like this, though, and see if we're missing anything. Uh, for the extra deck, I want to play a second Chaos Angel because people have been ripping that. Baguska seems important. This doesn't seem important. Second Muckraker seems good. We don't need this without punishment. Uh... I mean, we can still play like the extravagance, honestly. Even going second, that seems fine. Play two nibs. Uh, and then we just play... I only have one dark? Really? Oh, we can't, I can't see... Okay, you guys can't see it anyways. Okay, cool. Um... Uh, what else is there? Just like Exiton is okay in Master Duel. Um, Dugaris is also a fiend. Mm, maybe we even just play three Chaos Angels. Beatrice. Beatrice is okay with the if you can get double Arias onto the field. This one's also level six, right? Yeah, Beatrice seems fine. Uh, Zeus, George. Okay, let's try this just for just for fun. One rollback for Beatrice. That's possible. I don't know how likely it is that we actually make Beatrice. I need to see that. All right, you queue a blind. Anyone else ever queue a blind second deck and always win the first coin flip? I feel like it always works that way. Is eight traps good with backjack? It might be. It might not be enough. It might not be enough. This is my issue with Arias, by the way. Like, oftentimes, even if you have, like, Arias Karma Cannon, uh, which is, it seems good, but at the same time, I simply do not have engine at the moment. It ends their turn. It does, but what's the point of doing that when uh, you do not have anything to do on your next turn? If this maxi resolves, we're, we're, we're talking a different... Um, you no, know? if this maxi resolves, we're absolutely uh, fine. That was nice. Come on, man. Okay, there's engine. I don't even think I want to go with the big welcome here. Or the, the Daruma. Maybe I go with the big welcome, but not the Daruma. Double raisin. Okay. Can you use both butler effects in one turn? Yeah. That's devil. Interesting. Dude! I have- I max seed you! I mean, I, I appreciate you doing that.
Another big welcome. Hmm. All right, spell and trap. So what do we know about their hand? Double raisin. Double raisin is what we know. Do we karma cannon this board? But then basically do nothing next turn? There's oh shifter. Shifter too, right? Um I don't think I karma cannon this board. I might big welcome here. Just to like put it into the graveyard. Okay, they got nothing here. I'm thinking about going Furniture, Bounce Furniture, Discard Mudora to have that ready. It's not that important to have that ready. Mm, we're lacking the list of the band. Oh, right, it's 6 p.m. Did it happen, guys? Probably not. Judging from your guys', you know, definitely didn't happen. All right, bounce this. Let him proceed to end phase. And then we use... This goes back to hand, that's fine. And then we go Orbi. Pitch Mudora. And probably grab Welcome Labyrinth. Did you already play Generator Runic? Not yet. I don't think we're going to be able to play everything today. Uh, I'll, I'm trying my best to play as many different decks as possible, but we I, I, we can't play every single deck that's new. Why not Arias? Because they can blow up the entire board with the trap anyways. There's no point in using it yet. Now that they've used this one instead, I feel okay going for this. Yeah. You still want to book this? Yep. Yeah. Can you show the decklist after? Is it not in the Discord? Mods! It is not in the Discord yet. It's a tragedy. Uh, so I have used both welcome traps this turn. Making a muckraker here doesn't seem very good. I don't play the field spell either. It might just be set pass. 
a little annoying that this is set now. But we can like bounce it to a hand and then summon it out with areas. It's, it, it does work somehow. Maybe Konami foregore time change and ban list is in 50 minutes. <laughs> you guys are having too much copium, man. Too much copium is what you are on right now. <laughs> Kalski, thank you for the 16 months. Good luck with Paleo tier later. Uh, Tuba Hunter Bina, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate the first time, Prime. Thank you. Dude, they are just ignoring Maxi, and somehow they still have card advantage because that's how crazy Vanquish Soul grinds, man. How are they just ignoring the fact that I have thrown a Maxi at them and they just keep going, keep going, keep going? Okay, now they start burning. That's annoying. Uh... That one. Banker Soul needs more starters. I, I tend to agree. Yeah, I like this deck. I like this deck a lot, but like the... <laughs> it's a little outrageous at the moment what they're doing to me. Dude, stop burning me! All they need is, um, all Vanquish Soul needs is another starter card. Like, they need more consistency. That's what they need. They don't really need anything else. How about Max C3? Foggers. Dude, stop ignoring my Maxi! Oh, Impulse! Let's go. One more summon? No, they've only they only summoned three times so far. Big welcome, Labyrinth.
Uh, I haven't seen that, no. But thank you for the bits. I don't like covering leaks on the stream. But I haven't seen that. I'm so dumb, man. It's incredible. I deserve to lose. I didn't pay attention. That was so bad, man. Oh god, that was so bad. I wanted to pop the burger so it stops burning me, man. Okay, guess we're not dying this turn, hopefully. Flip summons do not count for nip, no, otherwise this would be five or they've so they've summoned three times so far. They probably have another. I mean, even if this is not this what I'm doing is not correct. Like I should I should have a lady here that I should have popped the card. It would it, it's very relevant. It is very, very relevant that I didn't get to pop that one. It's pretty bad. Okay, now it's their turn to maxi me. I see. That's only fair. I've maxied them three times. That is only fair. Clock? No, there's no point in doing clock. I've used both traps already. I can't use a trap. They have to discard for hand size. That's humiliating. Shifter gone. Okay. Oh, this is a quick effect, so I don't respond to the... Wait, why can't I... When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, you contribute this card... Why can't I use Impulse? Oh, Welcome is not... I, I thought Welcome was extra deck only. Okay. Um, Sure. Yes.
deck or extra deck. Okay. That has never ha been relevant to me. Okay. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Caesar is 1500 defense, right? And so is Raisin. Why did I pick? Well, I'm, I'm not paying attention. I, this should have been lovely. I'm... Yeah, I'm annoyed. I didn't chain the wrong way. No, it was the right way, but I um I summoned the wrong one. Plan I mean, now I'm going to go for Chaos Angel. This is not what I was planning to do, and it's not the right thing that I'm doing. Um... I didn't even know what that card did, man. In all fairness, I have no right to complain. That card should not have been there. I should have popped it twice with Lovely. And I just messed up. Lovely popped twice. I summoned Lovely into the Raisin column when I should have gotten the pop. And then on that turn, I would have also gotten Night. Now, I can't complain about that. That is, that is not something I have the right to complain about. That was my own fault. 
Is it volcanic runic time yet? I want to play a game properly with this deck. See, blind second, you always win the coin flips. I, I played this game very badly. I, I, I don't feel good about that game. The lovely pop would have triggered it too. No, it wouldn't have. It says target. Lovely doesn't target. Here's to hoping they play into Nibiru, because if they don't, we can't beat a Rice Hard Pass. Do you think it'll matter matter to the meta if the next pack we get in two weeks brings the rest of the rescue ace cards? Uh, barely. I mean, look at it from that perspective. In the TCG at the moment, we have rescue ace almost pretty much full power. I, I think it counts as full power. Like we have less. What is it, airlifter? But it doesn't really matter. Uh, I I think um, I think it wouldn't really matter. I think you would still play other versions of the deck. Uh, to be fair, I guess maybe there, maybe Rescue Ace, you could argue for, for Master Duel's sake, is a little bit better into Maxi, because you can maybe find like a Turbulence line. Like, let's say you start with, uh, I don't know, Diabell Star, and your opponent Maxis you on the original Sinful Spoil, Maybe you can, like, make a turbulence happen in, like, how many special summons, you know? And then you're fine. They do play into Nib. Doesn't the emergency summon turbulence? Yeah, but like, I forgot. Can. What does Hydrant say? Does Hydrant add any rescue ace? Hard or monster? Monster, right? So, like, if you go original. If you go original sinful spoil, what's like the fastest way you can get into turbulence? You summon Hydrant and then what? You have to like. Get airlifter and normal summon it, dude. They they pass. Dude, no, I still I still do it. Right? They they know now, but I still do it. Surely. Uh, what was the stats? Block. I hate this so much. I hate the toggle telling them that I have nib so much. It this is so dumb. This should not happen. Yeah, cool. Very sick.
Arisart, no, Arisart didn't declare an attack, but they switched it from defense to attack already. So you can't swap again. Okay, no trap card, but it's actually not too bad. We can just, like, get the furniture into the graveyard. That's okay. Don't hate that. Here and Bonds Ariana. Trigger this. Trigger this. Don't trigger Kobe because I don't want them to draw. Destroy hand evenly. Okay. Okay. Draw this. Big. That. Use just this in case it's another maxi. Destroy that. And that's game. Uh, Kyo Mao, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you for the four months. And Crimson9, thank you for the Prime as well. Appreciate the support, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the little bit... Uh, I guess we're streaming in a different time than usual. So I hope uh, maybe some of you guys are catching the stream for the first time because you're not available on the usual times. Hope you guys are enjoying the holidays, if you're celebrating. Uh, pop. Okay. So the idea of this deck, just because some people have asked, um, the idea of Blind Second with Labyrinth was the following. Uh, well, the idea is from a uh, from a TCG player. It, he, they won a regional with it a couple weeks ago, like two weeks or something. The the idea was that Labyrinth, the Labyrinth engine doesn't actually do that much going first, defensively speaking, right? They have great uh, grind game, but they don't have much, like, they don't actually disrupt your opponent much, right? They just have, like, uh, one pop from Lovely. That's usually all you get from your labyrinth cards so the idea was you you if you go second you don't have to worry about dying on your opponent's first turn right you you disrupt your opponent with hand traps and and other stuff and play other good going second cards like phantasme and rescue as impulse to just help you go uh set up right going second trap deck i mean it's, labyrinth is not really a trap deck if you think labyrinth is a trap deck then you don't really know that much about labyrinth but that's the basic idea of the deck. I don't know how much I like it. It's definitely more fun than just going first and setting four. But um, I don't know if it's better. It's It definitely helps in the TCG that we have the Blackout Laughs. 
because I'm noticing the odds on backjack aren't great in this list. And also, um, the furniture pieces being semi-limited actually matters for this deck, right? Uh, guys, what else could we play that is now new? Should we update? Are you guys interested in seeing an updated Snake Eye deck? Because mm, I guess I haven't played it with... with um, I have not played this deck with Bonfire at all. What else was there in the in the pack? Hold up. Updated Paleo version? There's no update to the Paleo version. That's cap. Uh, Platinum Groove, thank you for the four months. Fiend Box, do you mean Unchained? Unchained is cool. Volcanics? Uh, Volcanic. Hmm. Okay, I, I will show you, un I will look at Generator Runic if it doesn't require, like, infinite Ultra Rares. Uh, let me see. I need more deck slots. Let me delete this one real quick. Generators is two Ultras. Uh, I have them, though. Do I need multiple of these? I have one of each. You need two each? Hmm. That's annoying. Mar oh, Mardell is also an ultra. I don't have that either. How many Mardells do you play? One Mardell? What can I craft? Uh, maybe I can get a free pack from the thing. Oh, I can. We just pu we just pull one Mardell, one uh, on one of each of the exceeds. Or we get drolled. Also fine. Don't say Tistina Sag, dude. It's a failed archetype. It's not my fault. Don't look at me. Do not look at me for this. Why is every single Trap Tricks card an Ultra Rare, man? Dude, I just crafted the bonfires. <laughs> I just crafted them. No, I'm keeping my bonfires. Okay. Generator runic. Generator. Two each, one. 
I genuinely have to look up a list for this. I have no idea. Generator runic. I don't even know what the uh, combo works like. Uh, Omni Yeti, thank you for the prime. Uh, runic generator decks. Uh, okay, so it plays... I found one from the TCG. It shouldn't be that different, right? Yeah, it's just probably different. Um, wait, is is Ip legal in Master Duel? No. Okay. Uh, okay, so this plays three of this lot. Where's Lopter? Oh, there. Three Lopter, three of whatever this is. One Mardell, one of Ela, one Har. Okay, why the hell is there a Bootin? Bootin? Why is this here? The Viners, Rias, Ash. I assume we're going to be playing Maxi. Uh, World Legacy Monstrosity. Um, and then the rest is just Runics and Droplets. Okay, cool. And it plays two Sleipnirs. Watch me get Royal Sleipnir. Right here, right now. I lied. Uh, we play two of this. This, 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 this. How many Runics are they playing? One, two, three, six. Right. It only plays 13? That's criminal. Royals mod check? Nope. Uh, okay, and then it plays... So two Sleipnir, one Hugin, one Geary, one Entis. For the Diviner, I assume. Uh, uh, two Enter Blatnirs. F0 package. Zeus and Baron. Uh, and that's basically it. What's the idea? I crafted all these cards without even knowing what the I know I know it's some supposed to do some sort of hand loop. Let me Dude, I, this is the first time since a year that I've been to the solo mode. Hold up. Okay, no, this is not even Dude, can I play my own deck anywhere here? Duel. I think the the I think the plan is some sort of hand loop. Does this do it?
Why is Bhutan here? So... We're ready for ranked. Thoughts on Orcus Runic? It's probably better than this. I don't know how much that means. Oh, they have Kashira sleeves. I'm shotgunning. It never mattered. So about that one Hugen in this deck, huh? One Hugen, good idea, surely. They are not gonna take it. They are certainly not gonna take the Hugen. They would never do such a thing. We never summon her anyways? What kind of runic deck is this if we're not trying to summon Hugen? This deck doesn't need Hugin? Why did you suggest a deck to me that doesn't need Hugin? Why did you take Jurmun Gandal? Do I need to get rid of Unicorn? I feel like I do. Now the thing is, I don't know what any of the generators do. So now it's reading time. Add a generator card or plant monster from deck to hand. Okay. This is a negate. No, wait. This one is the negate. Yeah. Uh, tribute a generator, then target a generator in a grave with a different name, special song. Why do these cards have bad effects when they are level 9s? Why are they hard to summon when they all suck? I have questions.
Which, what do I add with this? Boss stage? Surely I need boss stage. Yes. Uh, do I just use the this thing now? Or do I summon Slipnir first? Yes. This is like the god card of the deck, right? Do I summon these? I told you we were ready for ranked. I told you we were ready for ranked. Never been more ready. Sorry, I, ho I have only questions, not answers. Same, dude, same. I'm pretty certain this hand sucks. I'm using it without runic. I just beat every time snake eye. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why either. That is a very cool story though. Nine more minutes? Surely. Surely nine more minutes. Why are we playing a deck whose two component archetypes each want a different field spell active in the opponent's turn? Uh, good question. I don't know the answer. Because for some reason, uh, I think the, the... People think that it's a good idea to overwrite the runic field spell. Or generator boss stage is all you need to know. How does this deck keep opening Unicorn? It's programmed in Master Duel. You open Unicorn Wanted every time. They play 45 cards. They open Unicorn Wanted Maxi. Is this just bad runic? There's no bad runic. That's cap. Dude, this deck. Dude, they play like a billion one-offs. We've hit none of them. So... We summon this. And then summon Trias. And then we have one rank 9.
So I can make this guy. This guy is pretty good. Do I even need to do this then? What's the point of getting another level 9? What is this? No. Tribute one generator monster. Nah. Ten Pie Advocate, thank you for the gift sub. Appreciate you. Tribute this card. No, not yet. Skip battle. Yo, Senju Force, thank you for the Prime, and Shiro Kazi, thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. This is a generator deck. Yeah, it 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 also plays like a generator deck. Five more minutes, chat. There's no way that we get a balance today, guys. <laughs> There's no shot. We'll check. We will check. But you guys are on too much copium at the moment. Yes. Yes. Sure. They just want to get the draw from this, but sure. <laughs> Is this main phase only? No. I think I'll do it in the end phase. What is this? The other guys like both draw one and then attach one to this, right? Do I want to do this now? Not really. Do it. Fix your hand. I mean, I'm fixing their hand too, though, right? Don't be a coward. Okay, that got me. Yeah. All right, sure. I won't be a coward. Yes. Uh this and this <laughs> fix your hand they said nice fix <laughs> Dude, I can attach the Hugan from my field. I can keep the stuff in my hand. It's broken. Oh my god, man. It's broken. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Absport. Okay, send Mardell. And now we do things. Summon an attack. Oh, it's 25. Okay. Dude, we win! We defeat Snake Eye! It's like that chatter said. Never mind, we get Baylord. Wait, normal summon Bootin though! 
Oh, wait. Fairy? Fairy! Dodge! Kill him with Bhutan? I can't. The math does not work out. The math does not math. I can normal summon Bhutan though. Does that play into Nib? I started... No, no, not, not yet, not yet, not yet. Bhutan! <laughs> oh no, wait! No! Hmm. I'm still attacking you with Wooten, I don't care. I know it's less damage, but I, I want to. Attack. Summon the ship? No, if I summon this now, this is the fifth summon. They might have nip. They already attached one nip to this. I'm just gonna Baron. Why not activate the better field? I have activated the better field. Dude, they draw wanted like it's their job. Can they ever just draw freaking? This is the third wanted. Cosmetics mod check. Yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. One for one. I mean, they have to go in. Right? They have to go in and we just draw runics with fountain up.
happy what day <laughs> dude it's easter monday dude stop Oh, can I stop drawing generators in my generator deck, man? In Germany, since today, it's officially legal to consume cannabis, for your information. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with that information, but cool. I didn't follow that whole thing that much. Because it doesn't personally affect me, but sure. Finally, a runic. Uh. The annoying part of them going in is I'm going to have a lot of cards in hand and I have, I'm going to have no idea on how to use them. Because I know, I know none of these uh, generator effects. Wouldn't have happened with boss. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware it wouldn't have happened with boss stage up. I didn't put up boss stage because I have no idea what to do with it because I don't know what the cards do. How old are you? I'm 28. Which is not that old. You guys keep calling me old, but I've seen the statistics. You guys are not that much younger than I am. Don't say old J Half of the people, at least half of the people that say old right now have to be older than I am. There's no way. Why does it matter anyways? <laughs> it's not that important. Anyone can play this game. No, don't take my Hela. The good thing is if you only play bad cards, even if your opponent takes the bad cards, it doesn't really matter. And then your Maxi draw finally draws really good cards. Uh, Domberg, thank you for the eight months. I'm having a good time, yes. Hope you're having a good day so far too. I'm younger than 95% of chat and I'm 17. That is young for uh for my chat uh for my chat's context. I'm 69. You are also hilarious. Did you know that? Mm.
Do I care? No. I was debating on building this deck. Glad I didn't. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not that bad. Uh, and I, I'm kind of doing it for the, you know, just for entertainment. But like, I don't actually think it's good either. Like, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's good either. It's like, whatever. How many cards left? I have 15, they have 18. What's the point of Zelantis in Snake Eyes? Uh, you resummon the entire field, and then Promethean Princess can trigger, because it says... It says uh, when a monster is summoned to your opponent's side of the field, it doesn't require your... Your opponent doesn't have to be the one summoning the monster, basically. <laughs> did you try Blind Second Lab? I did, yeah. It was okay. It's probably playable. I think it misses the Black Goat, though. The list is in the Discord. The nice. Yeah, the list is in the Discord. Okay, which one was the which one was the wrong field spell now? Huh? Runic Fountain also carried. Checkmate, atheists. Get Booten back? Yeah, we can get Booten back. <laughs> uh. Come back, Booten! No, oh, don't kill my Booten! Please tell me I have slumber. Saved. Princess still summoned even if she doesn't destroy both cards? Yes, because it says destroy them. There's a difference between cards saying them or like destroy both targets or something like that. I mean, they just take out. We just deck them out, and we leave Bootin on the field, menacingly. 
and we don't have to use another uh <laughs> we don't we don't have to use a single other what's it called generator card isn't that great Is that a royal bonfire? Damn. Anyways, smiting storm. Generators are my favorite hand sized discards. Boss stage one. Boss stage two. Look at my bootin before you perish. Let's go. Pop. I can't believe we ranked up with that. <laughs> I cannot believe you ranked up with that. Okay, let's play something different. Mm, let's play some more Unchained. Nope, not that. Perfectly piloted? I know, thank you. What's the best runic variant? I think it's uh, Bastille runic, still. That name sounds familiar. I feel like that's a... Uh, I feel like that's a stream snipe angle. <laughs> Reveal yourself, Soyon. I feel like I've heard that name before. Uh, Skippy Goober, thank you so much for the gifts. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Much appreciated. Oh, not the dinosaurs again. This is the dino guy from Challenger Cups? Uh-oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, okay. Is Unchained even worth investing in with full power snake eyes and soon full power rescue ace around? Um, so I think the answer to that question is you can, yeah, I think it's fine for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that the, the ultra rares from Unchained are in the same pack as Bonfire, so you might as well just go for those. Um, the, the second thing is that. I think the deck is still incredibly fun and fine. Like, it's good enough to, to play in ranked for sure. And the third thing is it's probably one of those decks that isn't unlikely to still be good after a potential ban list takes the fire stuff away, right? But it depends, right? Tour Guide, if you want to play Tour Guide too, then it's it gets relatively expensive relatively fast, yeah. Yeah, cool solitaire deck. I'm a fan of your solitaire gameplay. You solitaire very well.
Is Master Duel basically caught up to the TCG at this point? What else can they add? There's a couple things missing. Uh, so some cards are like months overdue, I feel like. But it's it's feel it's been feeling a little bit closer in terms of card pool recently. Seriously, I win one coin flip and you give me a DC. Nice. Ah, yeah, the universe is back to normal. This hand is okay. Hurley, huh? Really? I'm pretty sure I removed uh goddess from this so i hope they can't no army instantly oh snow is obviously the perfect discard that's very annoying insane sleeves yeah the light and darkness dragon ones are nice why would they miss How do you feel about Danger Dark World now that Dark Corridor is available? Uh, I think the card helps it quite a bit. But on the other hand, I think one big problem with the card is that if you know Dark World, you know it's kind of like a draw your entire deck situation going on with it. So you really don't want to play multiples of cards that are once per turn. So as much as... Okay, as much as the card is good, I think you only want to play one, which means it only has limited impact on Dark World. But it is good. Don't, don't get me wrong. You still play it and it helps you, but it, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't come up that often. Maybe two. Even that I found risky. I, like, I've played it before. I've tested it in the TCG and I wasn't a huge fan of multiples. Why is Pearly playing into Nib? I mean, it doesn't matter. Nib Nibiru is very bad against Pearly. Is the White Cat semi-limited? Oh yeah, it is. The pearly hits in Master Duel are so random, I can never remember what actually happened to the deck. What is it exactly? It's one delicious, two sleepy, two white cat? 
And they're undoing the uh, the sleepy one, right? On the next one. And two beauty. Oh no, they're undoing beauty, right? Alright, well. This smells like Maxi. Yeah, that's why I started with these because I didn't want them to know that I have extenders. I wanted to rather like hide those. Uh, sure. Let's go. Let's go with this. Ash as well. I guess if they go Unicorn with the beauty on this, then we don't have a way to play. Well, I can, I, I can crash, I can crash the Rakea, yeah. But I can't like play in main phase one. That's fine. That might be better for me, honestly. That might turn out just fine. Lucent this card. I don't know if they know that they don't get that back. All right, well. Crash. Um, I'm thinking about just going, it's probably this into discard the shyama and then go attack over the unicorn i like that that puts the shyama in grave um the my friend is protected once but i can pop it again with the shyama I might want to... I'd rather get rid of that than the field spell. Mm. Is it Sharvara? No. I think it's Aruha into... No. Sarama? Reset trap? No. Uh, probably this. I don't see the point in Sarama when everything in your graveyard has used its effect already and you don't have another one that floats. Well, I have the I have the trap in hand actually. Sarama
No, no, I'm gonna end on Caesar still, unless this doesn't work out the way I think it does, but I think it will work. Is there a reason for the later than usual stream? There was a reason for it, yes. Which was that we uh, we went to go and look at a cat today that we're trying to adopt from the animal shelter. And so that's what we did today. Uh, this. A hand. I'm not sure if I did this optimally, but I think my play is okay. Going through Sarama here doesn't really do anything for me. Right? Because I just want to link, I just want to make Caesar add the link to and then have one trap set. I think I just go through one Aruha here. And then we make this. And then this. Are you maining shifter? I'm not maining. I'm not maining shifter, but you could. I have to remember they have thrust. They have thrust in hand, which is a little scary. I just remember that. I know they have thrust, but they are out of cats. Maybe we're just fine. Maybe you don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, well, that's a problem. Is this during main phase only? If I, I mean, I just enable thrust. I don't want to. No, I'll just let him go battle phase and use the trap. Because otherwise I get Zeus. I don't want to get Zeus. I'll just use the trap here. 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 Uh, and then look at all these triggers. Um, We go... Yama, Rage adds one back. I would like to add back a Sharvara. I want to activate Sharvara to set from the deck, and I want to use Caesar to add the contract. And then, I mean. I don't think they can even really play in main phase 2, as long as I don't enable their thrust. Uh, set the reborn spell here. And just in case they can play, I can bring back this guy. Just in, just in case they can do something annoying. Uh, do I destroy any card on the field, or one card you con oh, I control? No, I don't want that. You just did? Well, I meant, like, they can thrust, but they can't talents. I'm okay with them thrusting. Uh, I, I just don't, I just don't want to get talents. I don't care. I don't even think they can get anything crazy here with the, with the thrust. Desires, I guess. I mean, let them have desires. It's fine. It's with another change of heart. It doesn't really matter. Do I even dodge this with the dog? I don't see what this does for them. No, I'll let, him, let, I'll let him have it. Okay, they have another my friend. They have one last pearly, pearl lily. Do we have a bomb in the deck? A bomb's in the graveyard.
Can we revive a bomb somehow? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not aware of a way we can. Well, I mean, in general, there are ways. Right now, there is none. Because we've already used Yama. We can do it later on. Okay, here's the Yeep. I mean, they still got some... Stuff they can do. But... They don't have Delicious, so it's not going to be a big Noir. Right? How does Unchained stack up against the meta? It's okay. I think the Snake Eye matchup is hard for you because the deck is just... The Snake Eye deck is hard to OTK and hard to outgrind, which are the two things that Unchained can do well. Every time, man. Hmm. How big is this guy? Three K. Shyama. I mean, it's game. Right, what is the effect? Uh, or, yeah, okay. We OTK under nib with this, this. They're on 8200. So I've summoned once. If I summon Shyama back, that's two. Uh, I can't... This does target, right? Target a card on the field, yeah. So I can't... 
target this. It's not quite game, is it? Unless I'm missing something? I don't think it is game. Unless I play into Nibiru. I want it to be game, I have to summon with this. Because attack it attack with this is it's exactly eight it's eight thousand. Uh. You had lethal? I I I maybe I have 20 seconds. I can't read chat and all that kind of it's not possible, guys. I don't I don't know what you guys are expecting right now. Like, yeah, we'll probably lose now, but it was just like, I, I don't know. I'm not comfortable enough with Unchained to figure... I, I, I thought it was game without playing into Nibiru, and then uh, it just didn't quite work out the way I thought it was, because I didn't see they were, they were over 8,000. And then I just didn't have time left to adjust what I was trying to do. Uh, G2 Zora, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. They have another... They play multiple? I guess they have to now. Man, stupid Maxi, dude. S 
so tilting. And now they got the, yeah. Now it's completely fucked. Ah, that was tilting. That was, it's, it was probably my bad, but like I didn't have the time to figure it out. Uh, it happens. No, not the down rank. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Is Pearly playable? Uh, yeah. I'd say it's playable. It's okay. Fifty cards for the rhino. <laughs> rhino in hand is not as bad as one would think. Yeah, rhino out of all the bricks that you play, or like semi bricks, is like one of the better ones. I agree. Okay, what is going on? What is the set that it just has? It has to be a rollback, right? Because there was nothing that... Trivi Karma? It could be Trivi Karma or rollback. Like, it, surely it's a dead card. I'm, I'm popping the field spell. I don't care. I'm not popping your real brick. No way. I got the soul read on them. Oh, now there's a response window. Cool. Have I been baited by Giga Chad? That's another reason. That another reasonable card. Okay, that's fair. That's fine though. We can play through that. No, no, no. They weren't a toggle, Andy. They were just like it, the card was genuinely not activatable. It's just like I thought. I thought that that would that means it's rollback because they're playing the the weird. Okay, you're not okay. Sure, uh, that's fine. Cannot use Sharon. I mean, they could make a, a Dragostapelia with it, right? The with the mud, the mud dragon and itself.
I think we have. I think it's safe to say we have avoided the down rank. Yep. <laughs> oh god, not that. That's that's how some. That's how the other half of tier limit game goes. I don't know what to tell you. Oh god. By the way, guys, I just got a confirmation. Uh, just to just to mention it again because we have a lot more people in here. Uh, I have confirmation that the the new sponsor of the stream also ships to the USA. Um, just a quick reminder, we have a new channel sponsor, uh, which is Hall on Car Chop. They have all kinds of stuff PCG related. Um, this is an edge, yes. <laughs> but yeah, they've got some pretty cool stuff. They've got OCG sleeves, all kinds, uh, at a pretty fair price, if you ask me, uh, judging from other stuff that I've seen. Uh, they have Pokemon Center stuff, single cards, everything, over sleeves that I'm using, all that kind of stuff. Exclamation mark, haul on, and you get 5% off using Josh5, uh, Josh all caps, and they do ship uh, to the US as well. So make sure you go check that out and get yourself the, that 5% uh, discount, discount code and all that. You know, the, the link is in chat right now. Uh, anyways, I asked them because people messaged me later. They were like, where can you... Can you can you buy from the US? And the answer is yes, you can. So make sure you guys check it out. All right. Deck list. Uh, is the Unchained list not in the Discord? Let me double check. It is not. Okay. Well, here it is. Uh, I haven't worked on it that much. It's somehow... It's, it's relatively close to what people have been doing in the TCG for Unchained. Uh, honestly, Imperm might not even be necessary. Maybe you do like this and you add back the cross. I'm terrified of Maxi with this deck. Maybe you put back the cross out, leave one imperm just for cross out. Not because it's royal. And then maybe you play one Nibiru as well, just so you don't have to worry about it when you play cross out. I could see this. I think this deck is fine to go slightly over 40 because you have some of these one ofs that you don't really want to draw. Like this guy. This guy. Technically, Sarama, Rakea, and Rhino Warrior aren't ideal to draw either, so I think it's okay to go slightly over 40. Alright guys, I'm calling one more. I am calling the one more. Because we've been at it for almost 5 hours, and it's uh, getting relatively late. And I'm already late for dinner. Alright, we do not have combo as of now, but most stuff, most of the things in our deck will give it to us. Uh, not sure on the Prosperity Banishes, honestly. Okay, there's a trap that gives us combo. I think it's better. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's better to combo with the trap. So you can reset it with Sarama later, rather than the spell. Not tour guide? Oh, was there tour? I was so focused on getting a, a, a set card for the Sharvara that I... Yeah, probably tour guide then. Although... If we take tour guide, we do lose to Imperm, right? Oh no, Sharp, we have Shavara. Never mind. Yeah, it probably was that then. Um, it's okay. What do you summon in this situation? If you just want to link it off, is it Blue Dock already? And then you want to make this... You want to go... You want to search Aruha, probably? Set Definitely set the other trap. 
That searches... I mean, technically... We could also just normal summon Sarama, because we haven't normal summoned in the way that I've done this combo. I, I've, I'm trying to remember what the way to play best against Nibiru was. In order to play around Nibiru here, we would need to put up two level sixes to force them to Nibiru. Before, but I don't think we can do that. I think it's Aruha. Activate here. Reset this. Aruha. Aruha effect. Summons level six. But this now, if I now use this, right, then I play into Nibiru. But if I make Yama first, uh, if I make Unchained Soul of Rage first, the line that plays through Nibiru makes Unchained Soul of Rage here, right? And then just doesn't end on it, right? Like, you make this now, and then you pop it with the Shyama, right? And then, if they Nibiru you then... Right? Here, and here. You could have gone Rakea Pop Rage. Was that better then? Maybe. I'm pretty sure this was the line though, right? I'm pretty sure you, if you were supposed, if you wanted to play around Nibiru with one card, which this was essentially the tour guide combo, right? Um, you did end on Caesar Trap Sharvara, right? In hand. I think that's what it was. Is Unchained any good in Master Duel? I ended up pulling a Royal Shayama. Uh, I think it's fine, yeah. The other trap preferable? I could have gone for the other trap. Yeah, I didn't really think about which one I went for, but you're right. It's probably the other one. I wonder if Caesar is going to be any good in this matchup. Why not Zeus? I don't think it works. I, I want to get the, the traps life. And I really want to summon out this Shyama.
Why is this guy's attack points orange and this guy's red? What's the difference? Maybe how much decrease? Surely not. They have like slightly different shades of... I'm confused. Ugh. Uh, I think we're fine though. Like this matchup is really good, I think. Should be okay, honestly. Unicorn one in the back row. Uh, pop one of the back row. Pop one of the back row. Okay. Or... It's not game, is it? 25? No, not quite. I want to keep the Shyama around. This. Abomination is both end phases, right? Yeah, let's make an Abomination. Okay. 
And let's keep the Shyama on the field. Because it can keep popping back row. They draw two cards, uh, but realistically we should be okay. Most likely. There's still stuff that they can do that's really annoying. Like if they draw Fountain and a Runic or something like that. But yeah, we're fine. Okay. Well, there we go. Ugh. This deck's so cool. Unchained is very cool. Yeah. All right, guys. That was the one more. Do me a favor and uh, and type exclamation mark haul on in chat one last time and check out their store. Make sure they are happy with the sponsorship and all that. Uh, you guys, hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you guys for watching. I'll check where I can send you guys. I will uh, be back tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Let me check who is live in Master Duel. Hold up. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I'll send you guys over to Nifroth. Um, yeah, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy the last uh, the last couple hours of the Easter Monday, or if you're celebrating, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the follows, all the subs, all that kind of good stuff. Appreciate the support, everybody, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.